Hello, and we want to welcome all of you to today's online travel presentation, Popular Tours and Their Activity Levels. My name is Kristen, and I will be your moderator for today's presentation. We understand it is not an easy time to travel right now, but this is a perfect time to start planning those travel books and prepping where you want to be. Before we begin today's presentation, I would like to go over a few things. First, we will hold all questions until the end. If you do have questions during the presentation, please go please type them in the GoToWebinar question box or otherwise known as the chat box in the GoToWebinar toolbar and we will cover them at the end. Second, we will have two questions during this presentation and we encourage you to participate by submitting your answer in the GoToWebinar question box. And lastly, this webinar will be recorded and will be available after the presentation. But first of all, I'm going to take a moment to introduce ourselves. My name is Kristen and I'm the marketing coordinator for Vacations by Rail and moderator for this online travel presentation. Shortly, you'll meet Frey, Vacations by Rail's Rail Specialist and your presenter today. We're going to start with our first question to get to know you a bit more. What type of traveler are you? So go ahead and submit your answer in the GoToWebinar question box. For some of you, it, it is the chat box. It's all the same thing, so no worries about where you submit your answer. It all works. I'll give you a few seconds to get those answers in. All right, so so far I'm seeing a good mix of answers here. If you are still working on your responses, please feel free to get those in. There's no rush on that. But I'm seeing a lot of people saying that they like their vacations a little bit more leisurely, a little bit more laid back, where they like to sit back and relax and just enjoy the scenery around them. And then I'm also seeing some um, people say they like a really, really active adventure. So they like the thrilling sightseeing activities and they like the things that keep them moving. So it's a good mix of those here. And that's great because we're going to talk about um, our tours that kind of cater to all of those needs and those preferences. So you're in the right spot for that. So next, I'm going to tell you a little bit about vacations by rail. In addition to the wide variety of vacations that we offer around the globe, we also offer best-in-class customer care with a dedicated rail specialist to assist you from your first call until you return home from your vacation. We are the leading rail vacations company in the United States, offering the largest selection of independent rail vacations, escorted rail tours, rail cruise combinations, and luxury rail journeys. We are the trusted authority on rail, a member of the National Tour Association and the American Bus Association with a Better Business Bureau A plus rating. We are also AARP's preferred rail provider. We're a great rail journeys company backed by more than 45 years of experience in the specialty of global rail vacations. And we deliver unmatched vacations and first class service to destinations around the globe. We also offer extensive vacation options aboard the world's iconic trains. So next, I'm going to tell you a little bit why uh, you should take a rail vacation. It's a unique way to see parts of the country not accessible through other modes of transportation. You leave the navigation and driving to someone else. You mix iconic trains and fantastic destinations and improve sightseeing. Rail travel is an integral part of the vacation experience, not just a travel component. No need to stop for meals or overnight accommodations. Everything is available for you from start to finish. A rail vacation is a good way to meet people from all over the globe, and it's a more eco-friendly way of traveling. Rail travel uses less carbon emission than other modes of transportation. So I'm gonna get into what's included for you in every vacation by rail vacation. You receive comfortable accommodations centrally located within national parks or in the heart of large cities. You get comprehensive sightseeing, offering one-of-a-kind of experiences. You get insider ex experiences and local expertise, and you receive a, an exceptional customer service from agents who specialize in rail. So without further ado, I'd like to present our presenter today, Frank, one of Vacations by Rail's amazing rail specialists. Hey, Frank, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Kristen. How are you? Great. Thanks for asking. Okay. So I'm going to talk about the um, different activity levels here. Uh, we have four types of vacations here. Um, first is independent. Um, independent is uh, can be tailor-made and customized to your activity level and things you want to see. Um, and then we have our escorted uh, packages, uh, which do have activity levels, uh, which I will get into. 
uh, there's the small group escorted, which ranges from 22 to 30 passengers. Um, uh, there's also a locally hosted uh, vacation, which is when you go to a place and there's uh, someone at your disposal there, uh, a local host who can make recommendations and and book excursions. Uh, and that that is also uh, a little more independent, so you could go at your own speed. And also, there's the river cruise. Uh, the river cruise is going to be very relaxing because you're spending most of your time aboard the boat. Excursions are available, uh, but they're at your discretion, at your choice. Um, you could simply uh, relax on the boat uh, or do the excursions. And uh, upgrades are available aboard those boats as well. You could do uh, deluxe cabins on the hired decks. By the way, um, I'm going to give you the different traveling styles here. I mean, independent, this is good because you could set your own pace. Uh, you follow an itinerary uh, for popular destinations throughout the United States, Canada, Europe, and beyond. Each independent rail tour features travel along legendary train routes, comprehensive sightseeing, and ample time uh, for you to have leisure time, time to yourself. Uh, you could choose from an extensive selection of regional tours, cross-country rail vacations, uh, rail drive getaways, uh, and rail cruise packages. In the small group, um, those are escorted, as I said, and, and uh, they can take you to any corner of the globe. You're led by a professional tour manager, and you embark on well-crafted vacations in the United States, Canada, and Europe, and, and beyond. Um, uh, wherever in the world you may like to go, you each escorted tour includes travel aboard iconic trains and by deluxe motor coach, as well as a comprehensive sightseeing, and uh, you do get time at your leisure. The river cruising uh, is a unique a, a unique way to look at, uh, at, at these small towns along these rivers and travel uh, across Europe. Um, smaller vessels offer a more personal, intimate travel experience with all the same great amenities of an ocean cruise, uh, like excellent meals, the shore excursions, which I mentioned, entertainment, onboard activities. Uh, you travel along the river in a smaller ship, uh, so that also means you're closer to the land and the changing panoramas uh, that would be a backdrop to your vacation. Locally hosted, uh, that's a locally guided train vacation. It offers the same freedoms as an independent vacation, but with the added bonus of that local host to offer personal insights and suggestions uh, to make your time in each destination as rewarding as possible. Uh, hallmarks of a locally hosted train vacation include you know, spectacular cities connected by train, comprehensive sightseeing, personalized suggestions for day trips, excursions, dining, uh, and things that are more tailored to your personal interests. So I wanna talk about our activity levels. Uh, our activity levels are one, being the most relaxed, two, uh, light and easy, three, natural explorer, and four, keep it going, and five, on the move. Now, levels one and five, uh, the easiest and the hardest, are uh, associated with our independent vacations. These are vacations that are tailor made to you, so you can make them as relaxed or as uh, go getting as you would like. Our escorted product uh, falls between categories two through four. And I will go through those levels uh, right now. So based on the activities and the inclusions of each one of these planned itineraries, the majority of our uh, escorted tours have the activity level two through four. Uh, this presentation will focus specifically on those levels. Uh, our rating system is catered for our escorted tours. So we'll, Let's take a look further at these levels and find some tours that'll fit you the best. Uh, the first would be level two here. This is light and easy. Uh, light and easy means that you enjoy a perfect harmony between light and no activity. Uh, you're okay with some walking, but don't mind strolls through cities or being on your feet for a few hours, uh, perhaps on even uh, uneven pavement or cobblestones. Uh, as as you know, especially in Europe, a lot of things are at the top of the hill, and a lot of streets are cobbled and uneven. Uh, level two would be the, the easiest of our escorted tours, and here's our, one of our most popular level two tours. Uh, this is the Great Lakes 
and trains featuring the Grand Hotel. I'm going to go through what uh, this tour includes here. Uh, here's the map of the tour. Um, this is a, an 11 day, 10 night trip, begins in Chicago and ends in Detroit. Uh, when you begin, begin the tour in Chicago, uh, we board Amtrak's Hiawatha at Chicago's Union Station and set about our journey to Wisconsin, to Milwaukee to be specific. Uh, upon arrival, a deluxe motor coach will scoop you up and take you to the scenic Door County Peninsula bound for Sturgeon Bay. Uh, where we discover tradition through local cuisine. Uh, next, we travel through Michigan's Upper Peninsula and across the Canadian border, so you will need your passport, uh, into Sault Ste. Marie, a charming city on the St. Mary River, and our launching point for adventures both by train and by water. Uh, we cross the world-famous Mackinac Bridge en route uh, to Mackinac City and then ride a ferry boat to Mackinac Island for a two-day stay at the stunning and historic Grand Hotel. Mackinac Island is best known for retaining uh, much of its original 1887 charm. It, the town looks mothballed. It looks like it stepped out of uh, uh, two centuries ago. Uh, it's historic architecture and time-honored traditions, such as uh, a dress code being enforced while dining in the hotel rooms. Uh, there's no motorized vehicles allowed on the island. Uh, but back on the mainland, we traveled down to the western shore of Michigan. We enjoy uh, sites of forests, sandy beaches, charming towns, lush farmlands, and sailboats in the distance as we approach Traverse City. Of course, no visit to Traverse City is complete without a visit to one of the most beautiful displays of nature in the United States, Sleeping Bear Dunes. Um, the journey continues south with a stop at the fantastic Steam Railroad Institute. Of Owasso uh, before arriving in Dearborn. Uh, that's so. This is for the uh, train fanatics here. It's a beautiful museum. Uh, I've also been to the next stop, uh, which is the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. This is where Henry Ford uh, called home. Uh, it's filled with amazing displays of history and innovation, and we experienced some of the best uh, all-inclusive visits to these attractions uh, in the Henry Ford Museum. This tour, like to, uh, level, uh, the level activity, as mentioned earlier, is level two, meaning it is light and easy. So it means you enjoy a perfect harmony between the light and no activity. You're okay with some walking and don't mind strolls through cities or being on your feet for a few hours. Uh, now let's uh, check out the highlights. Now the Agaway train, uh, this is the Agaway Canyon tour train in Ontario. Um, this round trip, uh, train trip, uh, follows a 114-mile route uh, and puts some of the most remote and beautiful and colorful scenery of Ontario on display. Uh, as the train moves over towering trestles and alongside winding waterways, uh, you take in views of granite formations, pristine forests, and magnificent displays of nature in the Canadian Shield. Uh, Stories of the Ojibwe uh, fur traders um, and explorers and entrepreneurs that opened this vast wilderness are also told on the train. Uh, as the train descends 500 feet into the canyon, we approach the crowning jewel of the tour, Agaway Park, Ag Agaway Canyon Park. Now, uh, here are some photos of what you will see. Of course, in the top left there is the Grand Hotel. Uh, there is Sleeping Bear Dunes on the top right, uh, and then there's Traverse City, Michigan, right below that. Uh, you do take a cruise uh, on the Sioux Locks. There is the Sioux Lock below that in the lower right-hand corner. Um, in the bottom, uh, we have, uh, that's Agua Canyon there. Uh, and then on the left is our first stop of the day. That's Sturgeon Bay on the lower left there. So highlights of this tour uh, include that railway that I mentioned. Uh, you get two nights at the Grand Hotel. Uh, you get a guided tour of Door County Peninsula. Uh, you get that river cruise to the Sioux Locks on Lake Superior. You get uh, a Mackinac Island carriage tour. Uh, you get a tour of Earl Young's mushroom homes in Charlevoix. Um, there's the Sleeping Bear Dunes excursion and a visit to that steam railroad, uh, railroad institute. 
Uh, so you immerse yourself in the Midwest's fall colors and explore charming destinations in Wisconsin and Michigan. Um, and then you stay at what is America's summer retreat, the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. Uh, included in this tour also is uh, an all-American pass. So it's all access to the Henry Ford Museum. Um, and then uh, the Ford Rouge factory tour. Uh, you get transportation by deluxe motor coach throughout, services of a professional tour manager, and baggage handling and hotel accommodations for 10 nights, including two nights at the Grand Hotel. And 16 meals are included in this, including dinner at a local winery. Uh, now let's have a look at some of the beautiful Midwest scenery uh, we can expect on this Great Lakes tour, which I think we've already seen. Now, this is a level two, as I mentioned. Um, so as you can see from the itinerary, a lot of it is by Deluxe Motor Coach. Uh, you get two leisurely nights at the Grand Hotel. Um, you get very easy going tours here. This is something that is uh, physically uh, very relaxing. This is going to be a relaxing tour. And that's what you can expect on a level two tour. Uh, your baggage is handled almost entirely throughout. I think the only time you ever have to handle your baggage is getting on and off the Amtrak train at the very beginning of the tour. Um, so this is going to be uh, a relaxing getaway and uh, not a lot of strenuous activity. So let's go to a level three tour. Um, now level three, it's called Natural Explorer. Um, this type of tour is good for you if you don't mind spending the day on your feet. You enjoy sightseeing that includes walking, standing, or stair climbing. Uh, and you're okay with longer days uh, that are more active, such as multiple sightseeing stops, uh, longer motor coach journeys, and getting on and off ships and trains. A good example of a level three activity tour is a new one we have. This is a Best of London and Paris by rail. Now, here's an overview of the vacation. Um, the tour begins in London, um, where excellence and tradition guide the way on each excursion. Alongside your fellow travelers and your tour manager, you enjoy guided sightseeing and a railway journey to Windsor, home to Windsor Castle, and you take that journey aboard a fantastic heritage train, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, the Windsor Castle, it's a palace that's been standing for nearly a century. Uh, the journey continues with a visit to the Tower of London and a cruise upon the River Thames before traveling through the Channel on the high-speed Eurostar from London to Paris. In Paris, you get a half-day sightseeing tour that introduces uh, you to the most notable landmarks of the city, so you see the greatest hits there. Uh, we also embark on another day on a foodie tour in the Parisian neighborhood of Le Marais. Now, Le Marais is going to be all on foot. So as you can see, this is includes a little more walking. Uh, but while in Le Marais, uh, you take in the beautiful surroundings and the flavorful cuisine while walking between shops and restaurants uh, in each destination, four-star hotel accommodations and authentic dining experiences complement the thoughtful itinerary, creating an experience that you'll remember for a lifetime. Now let's look at some images from this tour. Upper left is the Tower of London, a, a great place to go. I've been to the Tower of London. Most of that is accessible. Uh, there is an elevator, uh, so you could go to the top. Most of the things we're seeing, though, are all on ground level in the complex, including the crown jewels. Um, there's Windsor Castle on the upper right. Below that is uh, Le Marais in France and Paris. So yes, we do a large, uh, a long walking tour. Uh, crawling from restaurant to restaurant. Um, below that, obviously, is the River Thames. There's uh, the House of Parliament, Big Ben there. Uh, and of course, in the middle there is uh, Arc de Triomphe. And then on the lower left, that's the high-speed Eurostar train you'll be taking from London to Paris. Now, speaking of trains, this next one, uh, this is included in this tour. This is that train I was speaking about. When you go to Windsor, you take the Royal Windsor steam train. The Seam Express. Uh, so this is a big light, highlight of the tour. Um, it takes you from London to Waterloo, one, London Waterloo Station to Windsor in a steam-hauled carriage, 
On its way, it passes several famous landmarks, including the London Eye, uh, the Houses of Parliament. Uh, you steam along the River Thames, as well as several uh, reservoirs and lakes. Uh, when you reach Windsor's Eaton Riverside Station, which is a, a designated royal station uh, on the London and Southwestern Railway, um, uh, then you're, uh, you take your tour of Windsor Castle. The route has been meticulously planned to ensure you get the best views of the English countryside while indulging in some scrumptious onboard delicacies. As you can see in the upper right, you were seated at a table with fine china, uh, tablecloth, you get a very nice meal aboard this train. Now, let's look at the highlights of this particular trip here. Uh, as I mentioned, you get that scenic rail excursion aboard the Royal Windsor, a London city tour, uh, Windsor sightseeing, including a tour of the castle, Tower of London opening ceremony, uh, there's a River Thames cruise, including lunch, Paris sightseeing tour, and then the Le Marais foodie tour. Uh, you also get, uh, you know, the rail travel aboard the high-speed Eurostar, which I mentioned. Uh, hotel accommodations for seven nights. Twelve meals are included in this trip. It's transportation by deluxe motor coach, and you get the services of a professional tour manager throughout this trip. Now, this is a level three, as I said. There's more stuff to do, and there's a lot more walking, uh, especially in parts of Paris and London. Um, so you'll be walking more, so the activity level does go up a little more here. So um, if you're a little more active and you feel you, you're up to it, uh, this might be a perfect vacation for you. Again, this is a level three activity vacation. Now let's take it up a notch and go to level four. Uh, this, as the name is, as implies, it says keep it going. Uh, so this final activity level, uh, these tours are perfect if you prefer less sitting, more walking, and you don't mind longer days of physical activity and sightseeing with some activities that go well into the evening. Um, some rest, rest periods are nice, uh, but only when necessary. So this would be for the more active traveler. Our most popular trip by far, and this activity level is the best of Switzerland by rail tour. This is uh, a very popular tour, and really the best way to see Switzerland is by rail. Let's look at the itinerary here. This is a 10 night, uh, sorry, nine night, 10 day tour. Uh, it's fully escorted, uh, and what's included is round trip uh, rail tour that puts the best of Switzerland on display. It offers an unforgettable perspective through the scenic trains and uh, unique excursions that are included in this. Uh, you begin in Switzerland's largest city, Zurich, and enjoy leisure time uh, while exploring the city on your own. Uh, and then you spend a day in nearby St. Gallen. Uh, from Zurich, uh, we may have our way to Lucerne, uh, probably the prettiest city in Switzerland, uh, where medieval architecture sits against a backdrop of spectacular Alpine scenery. Uh, you follow the curve of Lake Geneva to the Swiss Riviera, Montreux. Uh, and then it's uh, onto the mountain resort towns of Zermatt and San Moritz before returning to Zurich. Along the way, uh, you spend time in, <clears throat> excuse me, charming villages and enticing locales. And uh, we even dip down into Italy, into Toronto uh, for a day trip. That is a really nice area of Switzerland, and Toronto is just beautiful. Um, Switzerland's scenic railways, including the Glacier Express, the Bernina Express, the Gornergrat Railway, and the Golden Pass, uh, bring this trip more to life. Um, so let's look at some images from this trip. Upper left-hand corner, that large photo is Zermatt. Uh, that is nestled right at the base of the Matterhorn, so you can see the Matterhorn from everywhere in Zermatt. There is no motorized traffic in Zermatt. So everything is going to be uh, on foot. So for instance, when you get off the train in Zermatt, uh, you will have to handle your own luggage to the hotel. Now the hotel is going to be close to the rail station, uh, but keep in mind these are uh, hilly streets, cobbled streets. Um, so this is what brings the activity level up a little bit. Um, so some luggage handling uh, must be done on this trip, uh, simply because there is no motorized traffic in a place like Zermatt. Uh, the upper right-hand corner, that's the Bernina Express. That is a beautiful 
beautiful route. Um, you see lots of glaciers and it goes to places inaccessible by car. Uh, that is just a sightseeing train, so you would just sit back and enjoy the view on that. Um, below that, uh, let's see, that's San Moritz, uh, right below that photo. And then below that is Lucerne, uh, probably one of my favorite cities in all the world. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Uh, next to Lucerne there, lower middle, that's Interlaken. And uh, then finally on the left, lower left, that's our begin and end point, that is the town of Zurich. Here are some highlights from this. So you get the Swiss pass with this. Uh, and your few few moments of uh, leisure when you're not um, on the tour, the Swiss pass will allow you to get into museums, mountaintops. Um, it even allows you to take uh, the tram across town. You can use it for inner city rail. The Swiss pass includes everything and that is included in this trip. Uh, there are those uh, scenic trains I mentioned, the Glacier Express, the Bernina Express, the Golden Pass, the Gorner Grot, uh, the Lucerne Interlochen Express, and the BLS Regio Express. That's when you go into Toronto. Uh, there's a fondue dinner included in this, uh, an excursion to Appenzell, uh, the day trip to Toronto, which I mentioned, and a Zurich city tour. Uh, this round trip rail tour puts the best of Switzerland on display. It really offers an unforgettable perspective through scenic train journeys and uh, unique excursions. This is really, really uh, one of our most popular. But as you can see, by all that's included, there is a lot of getting on and off trains, getting on and off the motor coach. So that is why this would be a level four. So you're doing this, all this stuff in eight days. So um, that is something to keep in mind. And that's why this is probably the highest activity level of all our escorted products. But as I said, this is probably our most popular escorted tour. Now you can upgrade your experience uh, on independent vacations. Uh, so when we do something independent for you, uh, this could be tailor-made for you in any way you like not just pace or activity level, but comfort level, luxury level, really everything can be upgraded. Uh, so independent packages always have different options. Uh, the best way to do this is to call us at the call center and you can speak to me or one of my colleagues and we would put together something um, specifically for you. Um, as far as upgrades on the escorted tours, not really available uh, because everything is going to be in four star and you, we have the best accommodations available or trains and boats and things like that uh, but a good thing to do is to get a pre-night hotel a few pre-nights um, especially if you're going to europe uh, allows you to shake off jet lag we would arrange those pre-night hotels for you uh, and that's a good upgrade on our escorted product you could also get post-night hotels too so let me turn this back to Kristen because i think she has some questions for you all right, thanks, Frank. So that brings us to our next question. Which activity level best suits your travel style? So Frank kind of went over the highlights of our escorted um, products and their activity levels. And then he briefly mentioned, just to remind you, that all of our independent vacations can be customized to any of these levels. So they can be fully customized to your best travel style. So uh, let us know what you think would be best for you in terms of activity level, or if there was a product that you saw that stood out to you, uh, we'd love to know that as well. So I'll give you um, a few seconds to get those answers in, and be sure to let us be sure to let us know in the GoToWebinar question box. All right, so um, keep getting those answers in, and a lot of so far, a lot of you are. Um, good group of mixed travelers, which makes this um, presentation so great because I'm seeing a lot of people who are leaning more towards the leisurely level one and two activity level style products. And I'm seeing some who are as um, thrilled as a, a level four vacation. And um, they do like the more active travel styles. And I'm seeing a little bit of, um, of some preferences in between. So. We have a good group here, so um, we're happy to have you guys, and we hope and we hope that you guys um, call and find out more about our activity levels and our products. 
So if you want to learn more about our destinations, costs, itineraries, and more, you can go online or call a rail specialist to request our available brochures. Um, so these are the brochures that you see here. We just released about a week or two ago, and they are only available for digital download right now. So there's no need to wait for you know, your brochure to be mailed to you. All you have to do is hop on our website and just download um, download any of these brochures, or you can call a Braille specialist and they can kind of walk you through the, the process of downloading these. You can uh, request a brochure, get information by calling us at 877-929-7245 or by going online at vacationsbybraille.com. So now we're going to open it up for some questions you had during the presentation. So just a reminder to please submit any questions in the GoToWebinar question box. For the sake of time, we'll only get to a few questions. So if you don't hear your question answered today, no worries. A real specialist will reach out to you after the presentation and make sure your question gets answered. So, Frank, our first question is, um, how is luggage handled throughout the trip? Well, on independent travel, obviously, uh, the traveler is responsible for all their own luggage. Um, so uh, when you depart a train, you have to take your luggage, to, you know, to the front of the station. And, you know, there are taxi stands there to take you to your hotels or whatever. But, um, yeah, on independent travel, uh, luggage is the, the passenger's responsibility. Now, on escorted, there is baggage handling. Uh, for instance, in the first one I talked about, the Grand Hotel one, uh, the only time, I think I mentioned this already, but the only time you have to handle your luggage is when you're getting on and off the Amtrak at the very beginning of the trip. The rest of the trip, the luggage will be handled for you at all times. Now in Switzerland, on that Swiss trip, there's a lot of places where motor coach is not available and you have to disembark from trains, these big uh, glass and steel European train stations. So you will have to handle your luggage as you're getting on and off these trains and make your way to the front of the station. Uh, so keep that in mind when, when packing. It's always nice to pack light. Um, don't bring a steamer trunk with you or anything. Uh, but on on that Swiss tour, because uh, it is escorted, uh, there will be, when available, baggage handling. Now, obviously, in Zermatt, there is no motorized traffic, so you will have to handle your own luggage in Zermatt. Uh, but in other places, large places like Montreux and things like that, the luggage will be handled for you. It really depends on the type of trip you decide to take. So. Great. Um, thank you so much. So our next question is, on the tours presented, which tours are customizable? Well, on the tours presented, really, they're escorted tours, the, one I, the ones I spoke of, of today. Um, so they're not terribly customizable. They're already perfectly planned out and perfectly presented to you. So you have to sit back and plan nothing. Uh, they're, they're, um, we try to fit in as much as possible in the best way possible uh, and have you have an enriching experience. Um, as I said, you could always add a pre-night hotel or post-night hotel. You could always add on to your stay at the beginning or end of those tours that I spoke of. Um, but once within the tour, um, it's pretty much perfectly set up. So um, there's no, you know, nothing really customizable. Now, obviously on independent tours, everything, everything is customizable. So if you choose to do an independent tour, you would simply call one of the rail specialists here, me or one of my colleagues, uh, and we would customize it uh, to suit your needs and desires. Great. And our next question is, what is the cost and accommodations for single travelers? Uh, this would be another instance where uh, you would simply give us a call at the call center uh, here, and one of the rail specialists here will figure out what the cost would be for a single passenger. Now. I'm sure most of you know, uh, hotels charge per person far more uh, for a single passenger. Um, one person occupying a hotel room that could be occupied by two is gonna be charged more. So that does affect the per person price uh, for all of our trips. Uh, that could easily uh, be calculated here in the call center. So you would simply just call me or one of my colleagues and we would let you know what the single supplement price is. All right, and our last question is, are the meals included in the trips offered? 
I did uh, touch on that, obviously. Uh, a lot of these trips include meals, not every meal though. So if you do have some questions, obviously call, call the call center and we can tell you exactly what meals are included. Another good way is to look on the site. If you look at the day-to-day -day description in parentheses of, at the end of each description of the day, there will be the letter B, L, or D, that stands for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. That means that is the meal included on that day. Uh, so that's a good way to know, too, uh, what meals are included. But we include as many meals as possible, but we also like to have you let you go out on your own and, you know, if there's a restaurant that you want to hit, um, we, we allow, we have, day, we have evenings on your own or or afternoons on your own where you could uh, choose your own dining. Uh, so on a score to product, uh, most of the dining is is provided. On independent tours, of course, it is not. Um, so. Great. Um, thank you so much, Frank. So that wraps up our online presentation for today. Thank you so much, any, everyone, for attending. We look forward to sending you a brochure that you requested or hearing from you by calling us at 877-929. 7245. If you'd like to receive a call from one of our rail specialists to answer your questions about these destinations or otherwise, please leave the call back number in the chat box and someone will be in touch. Also, be sure to be on the lookout for a special offer exclusively for webinar attendees. And lastly, be sure to keep an eye out for more information on next week's online presentation, Best of Colorado's Historic Trains, and that's going to be on Tuesday, July 28th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right, everyone. So thank you so much for attending. We hope to see you again soon. Thank you, Frank, for your presentation and have a great day.